All right, this video is going to show you how to use the clock application on your iPhone. First, we got to open it up. And then we're, we're in right now, if you look at the bottom here, we're in World Clock, okay? And this is how to use World Clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, and you're going to see that when you get your iPhone, it's got two, uh, two already loaded. You got Cupertino and you got New York. So that's giving you the time in New York, which is Eastern Standard Time, and the time in uh, uh, California, which is 928, which is three hours difference. Now, if you wanted to edit these, you can edit them by clicking on here. And basically what the edit is, is you can uh, add or subtract one. Let's say if I wanted to go like that, then I could delete it like that, and that's gone. Now I just have New York, and I hit done when I'm done. But let's go ahead and let's add back um, let's go San Francisco. I'm just going to use text, voice text. San Francisco. All right, so there's San Francisco. So I'm just going to click on there. And now I've got San Francisco on there. Let's do another one. Let's do, um, oh, I'm going to do text. i got to touch the field to get it to come up to text. Detroit, Michigan. There's Detroit, right? And I'm going to go ahead and then once I put it in the search box there, I'm just going to hit search. Oh, i got to get rid of this other junk that I put there. All right, there we go. Detroit, USA. You know, it takes a little screwing around, but you'll get it. Bam. All right, so I've added Detroit and San Francisco, okay? And so to add one, you click here at the little button up here, just to reiterate. It brings it up. Let's go, um, let's do one on the other side of the world. Rome. Okay, I got Rome. I'm gonna, oh shoot, you gotta make sure you turn, oh shit. You gotta make sure that you turn off your, you gotta make sure that you turn off your uh, text edit before you do it. Let's do it again. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna to touch the field. It brings up my little thing down here. I can type or I can. I'm gonna do. T I'm gonna talk. Rome. Then make sure that you close it out afterwards. Otherwise, it just keeps typing. And then I'm just gonna go go here. I'm gonna to touch here, and that's gonna add Rome there. Um, let's add one more. Touch the field. Go down here. Paris. Bam, add it. And that's how you do it. On the bottom of this, you're going to see there's a bunch of different um, settings on this toolbar. What you want to do, if we're going to do the alarm, is go to alarm. You're going to click on alarm. And then what it's going to do, it's going to bring up this page here. And um, I have it set for two different times, 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. But you'll notice that it's off. So to turn that on, I'm going to click here. All right. Um, if you want to to turn it off, you just click like that. If you want to add a time, you go here. And then you can just add that time right there. And you click here. And now I've added that 12 o'clock time. Now if I want to edit these, what I do is go here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this to get rid of it. It's going to bring up this delete. I'm going to hit that. Bam, that's gone. I'm going to get rid of the 8 a.m. too. Bam, that's gone. And that's how you set the alarm add another time on here all right so now um, in here if you want to have a different ringtone for your alarm you're gonna click this and then you can pick this is the one they have right now this is what you're gonna hear but you can pick any one of these but I'm gonna leave it on the default one you can also put a song in there if you want now let's go back. So now we're in there. And then the label, you can label the alarm. So you can call this wake up. Done. So now it's called, you've labeled it wake up, right? And the, the repeat, it says, all right, so you want to repeat it every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. So you just check these and the alarm will work on all those days. 
If you don't want it to work on those days, you just turn it off like that. Go back. All right, and here's where you set the alarm. So let's say right now it's uh, 1225. I'm going to go 1226, and I'm going to save that, and we're going to see the alarm go off here in a second. So as you can see, we set our alarm for 1226, and it's p.m. because it's the afternoon. Right now it's, tw it's 1225, so I'm hoping in a couple of seconds the alarm goes off so that you guys can hear it. As you can see, it's on because it's got the green and the buttons to the right. The buttons to the left, and then it's gray, it's off. There we go. Wake up. <laughs> so I don't know if you heard it or not. It wasn't very loud. But that's how you use the alarm. That's it right there. And if you want to set, set your bed stuff, you can go here. And that's a whole other video. We'll go over that in another one. Stopwatch. But we're going to go to bedtime. Cha-ching. And this is what you get in bedtime. And this is to help you go to sleep at the right time and to get up at the right time. If you can, if you notice, right now, um, it's off. So what you have to do is click this. It's going to bring you to this and the other page. And then if you want to turn it on, you just go here. Bam, done. All right, so it's got, right now it's set for sleepy time at 12.05 and wake up at 6 a.m. If you look, if you notice in the center of it, it says five hours and 55 minutes. That's how many minutes you would be sleeping. So as I move it, like I moved it up to 9.30 or 9.25, that means I'm going to have 9 hours and 20 minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it at 925, and we're going to watch the alarm go off. But you also have to turn on that day. You notice that today is Sunday, and I've got every day but Sunday turned on. So I've got to go in there, and I've got to press that S to the right, just above the word wake up, and make sure that I've got it turned on for this day. Otherwise, if I don't, it's not going to give me that alarm. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that. At 9.25, it's going to ring. Uh, if you look, it says 9.20 right now, but um, we've got all of the days set. If I click these days, that turns them off. So if they're gray, they're off. If they're yellow, they're on. So, and look, I'm moving it around. There's 9.30, 9.25, 9.30. So wherever I put it is when it's going to ring, and you can change that. Um, and so we're going to check that out in a minute. We're going to let it ring. And, uh, and then we're going to go through the snooze alarm. I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm going to pull it back to a 925 since it's only 920 right now. And then we only have to wait another five minutes. As you can see, that's the alarm. And if you want to hit snooze, you just press this. Bam, done. All right, so once you press the uh, snooze part of the alarm, it's going to give you another nine minutes to chill out. If you read this, it says, calls will be silenced. Whoops, let me click that again. Calls will be silenced and notifications will appear in Notification Center until your wake-up alarm rings at 9.34 a.m. So the phone won't wake you up with all those distracting, you know, things that you have on it that draws your attention to it. So that's how it works on the snooze. So we just have to wait, and uh, right now it's... Uh, 9:25. It's uh, on August uh, 16th. It's Sunday. So we got 30, 29 seconds left. 22 seconds left. You can see it just immediately turns off because it's trying to keep you sleeping. Otherwise, it would, you know, it lights up the room. 11 seconds. There it goes. As you can see, that's the alarm. So there's our alarm. It's waking us up. If you want to stop it, you hit it here. Swipe up to open, or you can hit snooze so you can sleep more. That stops it. It says good morning, showers. <laughs> and uh, you can dismiss it if you want. And then bam, you're ready to go. That's it. But bam. And there we are, swipe up, face ID, and we're in, and that's it. And that's how you use your bedtime app on your iPhone. You're gonna see a thing, it's stopwatch. We're gonna click on that, bam, and there it is. All right, so here we are, we're in our stopwatch. As you can see, we clicked on it. And let's say I wanna run. Ready, set, go. 
and now I'm running a 100 yard dash and bam, stop. I just ran that 100 yard dash in three seconds and 28, 3.28 seconds. That's pretty good. Now, if I want to look at it as a stopwatch, I can just go like that. Let's do it. Let's reset it. Bam. You see how it just pops back. Now, this is kind of like your regular guy that's at the uh, at the swim meet or the running meet, and he's got a stopwatch in his hand, and he's you know watching it go by. And boom, ran it in 6.7 seconds. Now, if you want to look at it over here, you can see it the same way. But this is kind of a cool way to look at it. There's only two ones. You only got two two different choices. You got this one and that one that you can use. And then you can reset it here, bam, and it comes back. And that's how you use your stopwatch on your iPhone in your clock app application for iPhone. First of all, you gotta open it up. When it opens up, you're gonna go down to the bottom and you're gonna see you got world clock, you got alarm, you got bedtime, you got stopwatch. I've already clicked on there. If I go like this, here's stop here's the stopwatch. Let's go back and I'm gonna click on timer. Bam. So now we're in the timer. All right, and I've got it set for three minutes and two seconds. But let's go ahead and let's just bring this down to zero. So I got that I got the minutes at zero because you know I, I don't want to make the video the video a million. I'm gonna put this at three seconds. So what's what it's gonna do is uh, when I click this start in three seconds it's gonna give us an alarm and tell us that you know if we're cooking something or if we're you know letting uh, something uh, timing something uh, it's gonna let us know that that time has gone by so I'm gonna go ahead and click that start and you get this little thing and then it goes I don't know if you can hear it <laughs> I gotta turn it up and then to get rid of it you just go like that Right now, if you want to change your alarm, I've got it set on the default, which is radar. But if I click here, we can change that alarm by just going like this. So let's go to let's go to bulletin. All right, let's set that. All right, so now it's set at bulletin. So let's try it again. You hear it? <laughs> Cancel. All right, get that out of there. All right, so I want to go back and put it back to radar. All right, set. All right, and that's how you do that. Um, for some reason, it's not ringing very loud. Let's turn it up. And let's try it again. That's better. All right, so that woke us up. So you can use this, like let's say if you want to do a three minute egg, bam, there you are, three minute egg. You hit it, when it rings, you know it's time to pull it out of the water. Or let's say you want it to cook pasta, and it takes uh, 11 minutes. Put it there, hit start, bam, you got your pasta. And that's how you use timer on your clock app in your iPhone. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to use the clock app on your iPhone.